everyone. Thank you for joining our webinar today with Babes Foliai University about studying in Romania. And our speaker today will be Ms. Anna, Office of Mobilities and International Students. And I am Jones, Marketing Specialist from Net24. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is um, Faye Alonna. Welcome to our university, even if it's uh, uh, virtually now. Uh, this is uh, our main building. And uh, I, I just wanted to mention this because uh, we have uh, this kind of old buildings and they are really beautiful and uh, they have this um, academic atmosphere. Uh, we, where we are located, uh, as I mentioned in Romania, Europe, part of uh, EU, uh, it's very, this information is very important for, uh, for uh, the students, for the international students, uh, as they say, um, we, got, we get uh, EU passport if we go to Romania, that's true because we are part of uh, EU, so um, they, um, if they will uh, study at our university, they will study in a EU uh, country. Um, our university is located in Cluj-Napoca. That's the name of the city in the heart of uh, Transylvania. Uh, it's uh, the second largest uh, city in, uh, in uh, Romania, which international airport. So uh, it's very uh, easy for students to, to get to Cluj-Napoca. Uh, they, from most of uh, uh, big cities, they have uh, direct uh, connections from example, from Istanbul. Uh, they can uh, fly directly to Cluj-Napoca. Few pictures. Um, of our uh, city, as I mentioned, uh, is uh, the second largest uh, city, but it's a uh, small, uh, I, I'm from Cluj, <laughs> and uh, I can say that uh, it's uh, big enough to have um, all kinds of events, never get bored, but it's small enough to be uh, very safe and very uh, friendly, let's say. Um, all, again, our, our main building and in the back you can see uh, similar buildings, churches and uh, beautiful landscape in the um, quite close to, to mountains as well. Our students, um, the city has around 400 um, population. But together with college students, it get to five uh, five hundred thousand um, inhabitants. Multicultural city, uh, as I said, it's it's due to not only due to our university and our students. Um, uh, it's it's also uh, because uh, we have uh, six public universities in the city and uh, other private universities as well. So you can see the, the, the difference, uh, for example, in summertime, it's uh, quite uh, qu quiet. And uh, from October to June, it's very, very uh, vibrant with a lot of uh, young people, a lot of events uh, and, um, and uh, all kinds of um, social life. It's very important to mention about uh, career opportunities. We have uh, many um, international business in our city, many um, um, offices, uh, big buildings with a uh, uh, lot of uh, jobs for, for international uh, people as well. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very good place to start your career as well, or to study and work as, uh, as the, the study visa allows students to work in a part-time job. But this should be, um, should be uh, seen as a, as a second occupation. So their main, uh, uh, their main um, occupation should be the studies. Okay, our university is um, the oldest uh, university in Romania with roots from uh, um, 1581. Uh, it's, uh, we have very, very good rankings 
on um, uh, on uh, different um, different research on different uh, um, platforms and uh, uh, the, it's very important that our students ask uh, many times that if our degrees are recognized internationally yes yes they are fully recognized and uh, they can uh, they can also join courses in other universities I will uh, tell you a little bit later about uh, mobilities um, we have students from all over the world, as you can see on, on our map, um, from all continents, uh, mainly from Asia and uh, Africa. From uh, Asia, this year, most of the students were from uh, Bangladesh, uh, from uh, India, um, Turkey, and uh, uh, most uh, Africa, from Africa, um, most of the students were from Nigeria, Guinea, Morocco, Cameroon. This were, but we we pretty have we pretty cover uh, all countries and all the regions of of the world. Uh, some numbers uh, about uh, our university and um, the the team of, uh, of the university, the community of uh, UBD. Um, we have uh, more than uh, 30,000 undergraduate st students, more than 8,000 master students, more than 2,000 PhD students, and more than approximately 2,800 teachers. What do we offer? We offer uh, programs in Romanian, in Hungarian, in English, German, and French. Uh, of course, most of the specializations, most of the programs uh, on both undergraduate and uh, master level are in Romanian, uh, but we have uh, uh, quite many programs, mostly in English. Bachelor, um, level uh, at bachelor level uh, the candidates can choose from mathematics computer science physics chemistry engineering um, economics um, political science international relations uh, business administrations and um, a few others uh, at master level uh, we have uh, one more 160 programs in Romanian, and we have quite many in English, 39 this year. Uh, of course, we have in Hungarian, German, Italian, and French as well. The uh, specializations, the fields are pretty much uh, the same. Uh, they are in the same field, but um, uh, more specific on, on a, on a a specific specialization or a specific domain. About the Romanian language preparatory year, as I told you before, uh, most of the programs are in Romanian, uh, but for those who uh, plan to, to uh, study in Romanian, we offer the Romanian preparatory year. It's a one year uh, study program. It uh, follows the structure of an academic year. In academic, the academic year in Romania, it's from October to June. Um, we have two semesters and uh, the students uh, at Romanian preparatory year will have 25 hours per week of Romanian language. In the first semester, they have general uh, language uh, vocabulary, but in the second semester, they will um, split into different uh, groups of different domain as they chose before. So if somebody uh, wants to, um, uh, to study doctoral studies for medicine, then uh, he will or she will study a different vocabulary from those who will plan to continue with economics or mathematics or letters, philosophy or something like that. Uh, I will mention also about uh, our international uh, summer course of Romanian language and civilization. 
is for those who would like to uh, learn more about uh, our culture and to uh, improve their Romanian language uh, skills because it's a very, very intense, uh, intensive um, a course of three weeks, but it will also uh, get um, some social life, some social events. So it's, it's very, very uh, dynamic and very interesting. It's, uh, it's during summer. This, this is an old uh, uh, one, I, but it's, it's also on July, August. So if you are interested, just you can send us an email and we'll uh, send you the new updated uh, um, structure for, the, for this year. Uh, uh, studying abroad opportunities for international students and EU students. Uh, about EU students, I will tell you just a few, um, a few th important things. Uh, if you, if there are agencies who also recruit students from EU countries, because the procedure is totally different. Uh, EU students, EU candidates will follow exactly the same uh, uh, admission procedure as our students, Romanian students, and uh, they will have, uh, they uh, are, um, they have the same right, the same uh, tuition fee, uh, the same um, procedure as Romanian students, and uh, admission is in July, and we have another admission for the um, places that were not occupied in July in September. Uh, so there are two admissions in July and September. Uh, if uh, if we, you have, um, if you will be interested, then you can send us an email and uh, or you can check on our website. Uh, but I will focus now uh, with my presentation to, to international students. Um, they uh, have the possibility to study abroad with uh, Erasmus it, through a mobility that can be Erasmus, CIPUS, uh, for, um, for German speaking, uh, the BAAD, uh, the Mokovets program for Hungarian um, in Hungary, and the Fulbright program in, uh, in the United States. But the most common and uh, the most popular is the Erasmus. About accommodation, um, this is also very important. I think it's the second most important thing if we provide uh, accommodation in the campus. Uh, yes, we provide accommodation in the campus. Uh, we have uh, 17 dormitories. It's uh, true that it's not only for international students, it's also for the Romanian students, for exchange students, for uh, other type of students, uh, scholarship students. So we have, uh, as you saw from the numbers, we have quite uh, uh, many students, so we need uh, uh, dormitories. Um, they are all modern buildings um, uh, with uh, uh, good facilities. Uh, we don't have single rooms, but we have double rooms with three or five uh, students uh, in a room. And uh, I need to say, uh, that it's uh, we don't have unlimited uh, places, so the places are uh, are uh, limited, and also for the international students, um, and we try to do our best to uh, offer them all accommodation. Uh, but it's good for them to apply in time early, then they will uh, get for sure accommodation in in our campus. Um, yeah, we, we also have canteens where they can have a, a cheap menu, uh, quite cheap uh, uh, food. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, uh, most of the canteens are located in, in the close to the faculties and uh, they, they have a variety to choose from. About uh, admission, um, criteria and fees. Um, the, the very first thing that I would like to speak about is the eligibility, the, the, our criteria. Um, we have um, a, a great criteria. 
So the final high school grade, the baccalaureate grade, or it's it's different in every country, uh, and or the bachelor grade for those who apply for master need to be equivalent of uh, six. The Romanian grading system is from one to ten. One. Uh, and you need to get five in order to pass the exam, for example. So, and 10 is the, the highest uh, grade, the highest uh, mark. Uh, and uh, you need to have an equivalent of six. Also, if uh, the candidates uh, choose or wants to um, study in English, uh, German, Hungarian, or uh, French, they need to have a language certificate. Okay, we have on our website, we have a list of, uh, um, a list of uh, certificates that are accepted. Uh, of course, the most common one are all accepted, TOEFL, ELTS, um, uh, Cambridge, uh, and so on. Um, if they will start, if they uh, will uh, choose to, to um, to study in Romania, and then they will start in with the Romanian preparatory uh, year. And in this case, they do not need uh, an, another language certificate. Regarding the previous uh, studies, uh, these uh, the previous studies or the the um, uh, uh, the high school diploma, the high school certificate or bachelor certificate need to be in a field related to the program the candidates. Uh, choose. Um, so that, that this would be the most important things you that agency will need to check before uh, sending an application. Uh, the, the, um, the admission application uh, will need to uh, cover or will need to have the some personal documents and some study documents. There is a 50 euro processing fee that is non-refundable. Uh, and the tuition fees are from 2,400 up to 6,500. Most of them are between 3,000 and 4,000. Um, we still um, receive from the faculties the new tuition fees. So um, I guess we'll update all this information uh, by the end of February. That's why I couldn't uh, prepare a list of uh, programs together with the tuition fees, but um, that will be available in a few weeks. The registration period is from uh, April, from the beginning of April until the middle of uh, August. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's very, very important uh, to, to let the students, the candidates know that um, there are so many uh, advantages of uh, applying in time. Of course, if they are, um, they will finalize their studies this year, that's another situation. But for all those who already have the graduation diploma, it's it's very, very important to apply in time because it takes a few months to get the letter of acceptance from the Ministry of Education, a few more months to get the visa appointment at the, most of the embassies, not all of the embassies, but most of them, a few more months to get the visa. So for all those students who applied in April and received the letter of acceptance and they paid uh, in a few weeks uh, or a few days, the tuition fee and did everything for the visa appointment, they could um, join the courses and they could start the uh, studies uh, at the beginning of uh, October. Other students who were not so, let's say, um, clever, <laughs> uh, that they um, applied uh, later or they uh, they got the visa later and uh, they, they could uh, join the other colleagues uh, from until January. So we enroll students until January, but they lose a lot of uh, courses. They, they will need to catch up with their courses on their own. So it's not recommended uh, to apply very, very late or to do the things uh, uh, very, very late.
we have a, a great student life. Our students uh, can enjoy uh, the libraries, uh, foreign cultural centers. I think we have more than 10 from all over the uh, world. Um, but we have museums, botanical gardens, student organizations uh, involved with different events. And uh, um, we have a very um, a positive feedback from, from our students. Uh, I, regarding the festivals, I would mention the Untold, which is the most popular uh, in this region. And, uh, but we also have a theater festival, music festival, uh, um, city days and all kinds of sports uh, competitions. Okay, and um, regarding the collaboration with the agencies, it's, uh, this is the perfect time for us to speak with you and for you to speak with us <laughs> because uh, the selection period, we have a selection period each year because um, we don't want to, uh, from April, we want to focus on our students on admission. So that's why we prefer to sign new contracts, to, um, to negotiate with uh, uh, new agencies during December, from December to, to uh, February. Um, and uh, then it's also easier for agencies after that to um, participate to our training regarding the new admission session. And then from, from April to start uh, recruiting the uh, students. Uh, what is very important to mention, I will start with the last point from uh, what do we offer for partner agencies. Uh, it's very important. I like to mention that it's, it's, we don't offer a commission for agencies. So it's very important to know if you only work with uh, universities that offer a commission, that unfortunately it's, it's not the case yet. <laughs> Um, but we offer many other things, uh, uh, the tuition fees, the accommodation, and uh, the academic offer. It's uh, quite, um, uh, quite uh, attractive for our students. And um, I guess uh, you can uh, find your own way or get the commission from students uh, if you want to work with us. Uh, we also offer promotion, promotional materials, virtual as well. Um, I mean, electronic in electronic uh, format. Um, support and the training. Uh, we have a very a modern online admission platform, so you don't need to send the documents by post. Uh, all the candidates can. Um, upload their documents and all the uh, correspondence will take place on the, this admission platform and everybody can see on real time uh, the, the process, the, the status uh, in which step uh, the, the students or the candidates are. Uh, and also we don't sign exclusive collaboration contract on a certain um, country. What do we expect from our uh, for our sorry from uh, our partner agencies uh, to first to see if they meet our criteria requirements uh, to be in permanent contact with candidates and with us and to comply with the terms and obligations uh, from of uh, the contract. This is our website uh, where you can find more information about. Uh, the university about uh, uh, admission for international students. Um, it's the Center for International Cooperation. And uh, the first section is, uh, is for international students. And from you need to select candidates from other countries in order to find a, a procedure for, uh, for third party countries. Thank you for uh, your attention. Um, here you will find uh, my contact details in case um, you want to contact me after this uh, presentation, this meeting. 
uh, and uh, I would be more than happy to to help you with any issue. I myself was very impressed when he's been there for so long for uh, as I calculated for like 500 years almost. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Incredible. <laughs> okay. So okay. So today I want to sum up that there were almost 50 people coming. We see India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Myanmar, Myanmar, uh, Zambia, Kenya, Australia, Zimbabwe, Thailand, Ghana, Cameroon, Nigeria, Ukraine, Nigeria, and many, many more. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. And um, yes, please use my email address in order to contact me. <laughs> Have a good day and thank you for participating and for your time and attention. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Goodbye, Anna. Bye-bye. Have guys. a good day. Bye. Goodbye.